So you think you want a golden retriever? Well, this is going to be my take on how I feel about the breed and kind of what to expect um, from owning not one, but multiple golden retrievers. Goldens, they they are such a wonderful breed. They're they're awesome, they're fun, they're loving, they're compassionate. They they just love you with their whole heart. But there is a few things that may deter someone from wanting to own one, and I'm gonna kinda go into that in this video. It's undeniable. Golden retrievers when they are puppies are the most adorable bundle of fluffy just sacks of love when they're babies. And they grow up to be beautiful dogs. And if trained right, grow up to be some of the most amazing dogs that there is. So that's where I'm first gonna start. When you get a golden retriever puppy, you need to make sure you have plenty of time to be able to not only potty train them, but work on basic commands and just manners. Um, golden retrievers, they can go from a very small, cute little fluffy puppy to a ginormous monster in a matter of months. And if they are not trained properly or just trained period, then they can just wreak havoc in your home. Golden Retrievers, they love people. They love to be around their owners, around other dogs, around children. So it's important that when you first bring your Golden Retriever puppy home, yeah, you're going to want to love and play and enjoy those, you know, those puppy days. But you also want to start instilling, you know, manners and training. That needs to start immediately in just basic commands and obviously potty training. It needs to start immediately. Um, Golden Retrievers are very food driven. So get, you know, find treats that they, they really enjoy, which I mean, golden retrievers, they seem to like any kind of treat, but get some treats that are small enough that they can eat and work with them on training. Um, what I do with, what I did with my goldens was, you know, as soon as they came home, I gave them about a day or two to adjust. And then I immediately started training and Charlie is, he loves beef. So his, Weakness is beef treats and I immediately started working with him. I took him outside as soon as he would potty and do his business. I would give him lots of praise, lots of loving and I give him a treat. And, or I gave him a treat as soon as I got back in the house. So it got to the point he knew if I went outside and I pottied, I got a bunch of, bunch of loving and then I came inside and he immediately would sit and he would get a treat. So that seemed to work with me. But like I said before, you need to have plenty of time to be able to work and train with your golden puppy. When a golden retriever is bored, it can come out in a bunch of different ways, but the main way will be that a golden retriever will become destructive. They will chew, they will dig, they will tear things up when you're away. I'm not talking about normal, you know, shredding a toy or something like that because I mean, that's just dogs just do that. Um, but I'm talking like they will dig at your your furniture, they will dig at your your carpet, they will chew on your furniture. And so it's, it's important that they get a lot of attention. Um, and if you do need to leave for a couple hours at a time, uh, or you have to go to work, I mean, people have to work. So I always crate trained my dogs. Um, at first, the first week is pretty rough because they don't like it. They want to be with you They're It's a new environment. They miss their, their litter mates or their mom. So the first week is rough, but once you get past that, a golden retriever and most dogs in general, they look as a crate as like a den. Um, what I do with mine and what I'm currently doing with Daisy is when I put them in the crate, I give them a treat. I let them, you know, I give them love them. I tell them they're a good girl, good boy. And when I walk away, I have a sheet that I put over top of my crate. Um, some dogs like that. It makes them feel more secured. Some dogs, I've never experienced it because all my golden retrievers liked it. Um, and Daisy likes it. Because if I try to leave the blanket, if I forget to put the blanket on, then they would freak out. So as soon as I put the blanket back on, they were fine. But I also, I have a TV in my laundry room and that's where I keep Daisy at. And that's where I kept my other goldens at. Um, and I have a TV in there, even though she doesn't see it, I still I get on YouTube and I find soothing music for dogs or puppies that lasts for like 10, 15 hours. And I play that while, you know, she is in her crate, especially at night. And that really does seem to help as well. So the one question that I get asked a ton is how do I keep my house so clean with owning three golden retrievers? 
that's the next thing. Golden Retrievers, they shed, and they shed terribly. I mean, there is other dogs that shed really bad too, like Huskies, but Golden Retrievers, their, their fur is just so fine, and when they shake, it just flies in the air, and then it's just like, it's everywhere. Um, that's something you're gonna have to get used to, is dog hair. I mean, Golden Retrievers, they shed, and I have not found anything that eliminates it. There, I don't feel like there is a way to eliminate shedding. There's things that can help, shampoos, uh, brushing them once or twice a day definitely does help, but it doesn't eliminate it. So you're just going to have to get in the routine and if you want to go in a retriever, you're going to have to dust a lot and you're going to have to vacuum a lot. Um, I vacuum twice a day. I dust multiple times a day just because it doesn't matter. They get to run around and play and there's hair everywhere again. So especially if you own multiple goldens, but I will tell you one thing, one golden sheds a lot. Two Goldens is like having four Goldens, and three Goldens is like having six or seven. So I mean, the hair, it triples with each Golden, I swear. But you know, it's it's something that I knew, I knew about the breed, and I have learned to live with it to a certain extent. Um, you'll need to invest in a lot of lint rollers, especially if you like to wear black. If you notice, I don't wear a lot of black clothing, just for the simple fact, but yeah, you're basically going to eat, live, and breathe golden retriever fur. Golden retrievers, they're sweet. That is the one thing that everybody loves about them. But one thing is that golden retrievers can be extremely hyper. Um, golden retrievers, they stay puppies. I mean, for a good couple years of their life. So you can only imagine all that energy that that little itty bitty puppy had. It's now a, you know, a 65 to 95 pound dog who is running around your house and he doesn't know any better. He has all this energy. So walks. Um, if you do not have a backyard that they can run or play fetch or, you know, whatever, you need to take them on walks uh, to get some of that energy out. Um, I take my dogs on walk. I mean, I have a yard. It's not huge, but I have a yard that they can run around and exert some of that energy. Um, but I do take my Goldens on walks. And I'm not talking about like a little walk around the block. I mean, I take Charlie on miles of, you know, we walk miles um just to exert some of that energy but charlie now that he's he's two now and he still has a lot of puppy in him but he's not as hyper as everybody seems to think he is he's actually pretty calm um he does do a lot of snoozing but he he's the type of golden is that he's calm when you want him to be but then he is excitable and playful when you want him to be and when you're done playing he knows to go lay down so I've trained him to be that way and some goldens you can't they're just they're just non-stop their their mind is going 100 miles a minute and they're just happy they're excited they want to play like non-stop and it will get better with age um I know buddy he he was never really super hyper golden but he had his moments and he mellowed out a lot by the time he hit about three and now that he's almost six he is very very calm tucker our older golden retriever he is almost 12 and all he does is sleep i mean he he'll get worked up and he'll get excited and he'll want to play but it's he doesn't want to play with the other dogs he only wants to play with like a human but it only lasts for like five minutes and then he's right back and he's laying down so yeah just be prepared to have a very excited bundle of fur the next thing I'm going to say, I know I'm probably going to get chewed out for this, and it is what it is, but if you want a Golden Retriever puppy, I urge you to get one from a reputable breeder. Um, it's not very often that rescues and shelters have Golden Retriever puppies. They do. So I do urge you to check those first because, I mean, all dogs need a home. But if you are wanting specifically a Golden Retriever puppy, you're wanting a purebred, don't just get on Craigslist or, you know, Hoobly or whatever and pick the first one you see. You need to check out the parent's background. Check out the person who's owning the dog or owns the parents. Uh, look in to see if parents have had health testing. Um, if the puppy has any type of congenital health uh, warranties, you know, the puppy's up to date on shots and dewormings and, you know, stuff like that. There's so many things that you need to look into when buying a puppy. Um because you want to make sure that you are for one getting a healthy dog but because golden retrievers they run the risks of having hip and elbow issues um cancer is very prominent in the breed so you want to make sure that you 
are getting the healthiest puppy you can get. Um, but again, like I said, if you can find one in a shelter or in a rescue, go for it. Um, you know, but especially if you're looking for like an older golden retriever, the one that's already kind of matured, definitely go to a shelter or not a shelter, but a rescue. I mean, if they have one in a shelter, go there too, but definitely check out a rescue because there is a ton of golden retrievers and rescues that are looking for homes. So that brings me to my next one is that golden retrievers, they do, they do have health problems. Um, majority of the times it is hip dysplasia, you know, elbows. I've seen where some goldens have issues with their hearts. Um, but cancer, cancer is, is very prominent in the breed. And so because of that, well, because of good breeding, the golden retrievers, they are, lasting a little longer than what they used to. I think the lifespan of a golden retriever was like, used to be like nine to 12 years. And now it's, it's up, it's getting closer up to 15. So that's good because there is good breeders that are trying to better the breed. But then there is also breeders that are trying to make the breed a little heavier, bulkier, wider, thicker. And that isn't good on them either. Um, I'm one, I love the bigger golden retrievers. I like the ones with the bigger heads, just the, fat, you know, wrinkly faces. I love it, but in all reality, it's not the best on their bone structure. Um, Charlie, I've gotten people who have asked, why is he so skinny? Why is he, you know, not as big as Buddy? Buddy is a bigger golden retriever. He has that bigger, he's bigger boned, but he's also heavier. And I have to watch him because he, actually I need to start putting him on a diet again because he's getting a little too thick. But when he gets weight on him, I can definitely tell he has a hard time getting up and getting down. Um, Tucker, our other one, he, he has arthritis in his hips now and he has a few other things going on. But, you know, I didn't notice that until, I, you know, he's almost 12. So I didn't notice that until he got older. But Charlie, I want to keep him... I don't want to say I want to keep him thin, but I don't want him to get real thick because it will be harder on his joints as he gets older. So as long as they are healthy and they're at a healthy weight, even though they are thinner, it is still better for the dog in the long run. Um, I get, like I said, I, I get people saying that Charlie's just too thin and he really isn't too thin for his size. He's smaller than Buddy. Buddy's like 93 pounds, Charlie weighs 75 pounds, and a male golden retriever is supposed to weigh anywhere from 65 up to, I think, like 75 pounds, 80 pounds. So he's right there, he's actually at the top of the, of the spectrum of the weight, and he's at a healthy weight, and he's athletic, he's, you know, can still run and jump around and play, and that's all that matters, so, yeah. Golden retrievers. <laughs> the one thing about them, is that, if, especially if you have more than one, they are a Velcro dog. They like to be up your butt 24 seven. They want all the attention to themselves. And that is true to this one right here. He is a huge cuddle bug. He loves everyone and he loves his attention. So he gets very jealous. So just know if you if you have one golden retriever and you're thinking about getting another one, be prepared for the one to be kind of jealous. And it's it's normal. You would think that Buddy would be the real jealous one. And he, he is. He has his moments where he wants all the attention. But this one right here, he even though he's the youngest golden, he is the neediest, aren't you? Yes, you are. You're needy. Which is fine. You know, but you just have to even out your time between all of them and give all of them loves. So, you know that, don't you? But sometimes he just likes to hog it. And he has to learn. But they were still learning, huh? Yeah, we are. Which that brings me to my next one. Manners. Golden Retrievers, as sweet as they are, can be naughty boys. And they need to know or need to learn manners. Which, you know, one of them is not stealing food from people or kids. Um, I've tried to train my Goldens not to steal things from each other, but that's... I think that's impossible. I have not conquered that yet and I've kind of gave up on it. Um, they need to know that if you're eating, they need to have an area where they can, you know, they can go lay down. Like for our house, we, when we eat in the dining room, we eat dinner. The Goldens, they know to, they lay on the floor, but they don't come up to us and try to, you know, beg. Um, 
but yeah and then another thing too is especially when you have multi multiple goldens they need to know to wait their turn and i'm still working with that on charlie he he's a little more hard-headed than my other two goldens but he's getting the drift um if you're petting one golden they need to learn to kind of wait their turn and not just butt in but other than that i mean they're an easy golden breed they love to please you and they will do everything in their power to to please you so some of them just takes a little longer than others but they'll get the hang of it <laughs> golden retrievers okay so Another thing you need to know about Goldens is that, yes, they have health issues, but most Golden Retrievers do also have allergies, um, which isn't like how it is with us, where we sneeze and runny eyes, itchy eyes, you know, whatever. Their allergies, they come out in the form of skin lesions and hot spots and stuff like that. Um, this one right here, he's my worst allergy dog. He gets hot spots in the spring and summer. He's on medication to help prevent them, but the, he'll still get them. Um, he is a, <laughs> he's so sweet though. He is a habitual licker. So he will lick what's called a lick granuloma on his leg. Um, he does it, it can be out of boredom. It can be stress. It can be anything along those lines, but we've determined his is just he likes to lick his leg and I've had him check to make sure there wasn't nothing wrong with his leg. Everything checked out fine. And for some reason, it's just that one leg. So that is the reason why he wears this black thing. It's not a brace. Um, it's just a sleeve that goes down on his one arm. Let me see your arm. It goes down on his one arm to protect. So he doesn't lick. Let me see it. So he doesn't lick an area. Right now it's healed. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's healed. It's just the skin or the fur is just stained from when he licked it. But this helps prevent him from doing that. I get asked that a lot about why he's wearing this. But yeah, be prepared that your golden may possibly have allergies. Um, Tucker, our oldest golden, he has food allergies. So he can't have chicken. And that really seems to be about the only allergy he has. Charlie, I've been lucky, knock on wood. He doesn't seem to have any allergies at all. So I'm thankful that at least one out of the three doesn't have them. Huh. They suck, huh? What are you doing? Oh, but these, oh, these hugs though. Yes. They're just your sweetest boys. Yes, you are sweetest. Yes. That'll bring me into my next thing. Grooming. They're not e they're not hard to groom. Um I think they're fairly easy to groom. I mean, my boys, they they're used to it. They they don't care. But I give them baths once a month and then I will scrub them up real good, clean out their ears and you know stuff like that I'll brush out their fur which I brush them every day anyways but I brush them out real good and I'll trim up their paw or the hair on their pads or their paws and I trim their nails and they all handle it real well so but if you start it young they'll be used to it so by the time they are big they won't care less like I said they're they're super easy going and they just most of them just want to be touched you that right I'm a good boy huh yeah, it's a good boy. This boy likes some massage. He likes his feet some massage. Yes, it does. So with all that being said, I don't want to deter someone from getting this breed because in all honesty, I love this breed. It is one of my favorites, obviously. I have three. I had so many people ask me, why didn't you get another golden when I got Daisy? But, you know, I have three and I've always loved Newfoundlands and they're awesome dogs too. So I, I just wanted, I wanted a change. Um, but I love this breed and I will always have a golden retriever. Um, they're just, they're beautiful. They're sweet. They're smart. They're just, yes, they're great. Aren't you? You're great. Aren't you? But so that's my thoughts and opinions on owning a golden retriever. And if anyone ever has any questions, 
don't hesitate to send me a message or a comment or whatnot and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. Um, so hopefully this helps you decide if you would want to get a golden retriever or if you want to get another or if you want to get 10. I mean, I'm, I'm not judging. I already got four dogs and a cat so I already think I'm on my way to the, to the loony bin, huh? Aren't I? You don't give a crap, do you? You just want petted. So anyways, hopefully this helped you and yeah, you're about to just fall asleep, huh? All right. See ya.